All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Let's Play with Ben and Micah. We are back with another entry of Legends of Dragoon. Heading into the Capital Bale. That's right, we just escaped from the prison with Lavitz and uh, Sarah. Sarah, what is her name? Um, Shana. 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 So we're here, and uh, we're, we have both played this part. I, I've... I've gotten to the end of disc one like five times in my life, but never into disc two. Um, and now I'm into disc two and playing it, but because of that, I I've searched the city a dozen times, so has Ben. So we're just going to pick up what we think is needed. We now remember everything that's in here, but we pick up what's needed and just kind of go on through. Right. Um, there's a lot of like little things. Uh, yeah, little uh, cubby holes and hide yeah, but hideaways no and shit. But and it's not correctly, important. there's nothing like super important right. here. And really, very few RPGs, PS1 RPGs. Uh, had anything that you absolutely had to get um, uh, in the first disc. Yeah. I just headed up to the throne room to talk to Alberto. Alberto? It's Albert. Alberto! First knighthood. Slambert. I don't remember that being his last name. We talked about it in the very first one. Did like, we? yeah. Slambert. I mean, not in the very first. It's probably in episode three. Oh, okay, gotcha. Or like part three, because it wasn't until he was introduced when it, he says it's it's Slammer, and it's like ah, oh, it's painful. <laughs> it has a great Your name. Majesty, it's more than I deserve. Yeah, it is because you trip over everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're the dumb blonde. Like, has been. How have you survived having a giant spear? At some point, you would have impaled yourself on it, like something from Dale and Tucker versus Evil. <laughs> it's just pure, um, it's pure luck, man. It's pure luck. <laughs> He's gotten up there due to his, uh, his, his dumb luck. I just, I don't know how long you run on dumb, dumb luck, you know? Well, it'd, it'd be amazing if he made it past the first disc. I know, I know, I know. It would prove our point, though, would it not? Yeah, it would. We can't be proven wrong. <laughs> I was Ugh. captured by Sandora. She's such a bitch. Either Sandora sounds like a woman's name or like a evil empire in space. It doesn't sound like <laughs> in space. space. Is that the hooded man over there? No, you know I thought the same thing would play this. That's just one of the guards because you see him on another floor. I don't know. It does look like him though, doesn't it? The, no, sorry, the man in hood. Yeah, man in hood. <laughs> There's no dash or anything. It's just man in hood. <laughs> I'm in the hood. What's up? Uh, can I really ask for anything? What do you think, Shauna? No, I guess not. <laughs> oh. oh wait, I got something. He got turned down. What? I go after Shauna anytime I think of it. So I mean. I <sighs> I don't know why, like, just before we started doing this one again, uh, Ben had pulled up an article about someone who was saying this is a BS RPG and all kinds of stuff. I mean, and I can kind of see where it does take, a, does take a lot of influence from the Final Fantasies of the time, the yeah. its competitors, the 7 but and 8. a lot of RPGs A lot of, a lot of RPGs did. They really, really did, because 7 was such a breakaway hit, and they're like, well, we're going to get involved, and I'm fine with that. I understand they, they took a lot of the... I mean, styles but the mechanics of this game are different and I don't know I enjoy the story and I love it. the setting I've always liked the more medieval setting yeah it, it's just it's really, it seven really is... calls to me because yeah seven is very like you know techie yeah. sort of like you know you get away... futuristic wasteland yeah. kind of deal I always enjoyed eight I always thought eight was an amazing game but yeah. outside of the, the bomb the gardens I mean it was pretty like backwards the except for like I, dole it or the thing i always hated about eight and i hate to this day is the the fact that you didn't just have your spells and mp no you had, you to, had to draw from shit yeah i hated it i totally forgot about that in that in the game yeah that's the only thing i hate about that game i mean the junction system is convoluted but it's not i i can forgive it yeah you know once you understand what you're doing it's really not hard when i was you know fucking 12 years old when that game came out. I, mean, no I didn't sense. get it, and I, it, it upset me, but, you know, I, I well, it's, through. it's a little bit like the thing, like, when I got 10, I was old enough to understand it. Like, yeah. a lot of people say the sphere system in 10 was awful. I thought it was very interesting. It was, I like the fact that it was world-defining. 
Like, right. you, the characters didn't necessarily portray, like, oh, I'm this character. They, their spheres did, but when you finish their spheres, you could start saying, like, okay, Titus whatever. was fast. He was always the first one to fight. Well, let's say, like, I want to be fast, but I want to hit harder, so I'm going to go down Auron's or Kimari's path. Yeah. So he can start doing more damage that way. And then, of course, when 12 came around, it was basically, like, here's a bunch of important characters, and you get to pick their class via MMO style. And I right. think that's where they really lost the point of the game to me. <laughs> and, and, of course, this afternoon, I just got done watching just a, a goosebump enthralling video of Final Fantasy 15 actual combat and it was showing that you the combat system very much is going to be like Kingdom Hearts where you have a central character you play yeah. and your buddies help you oh there's a yeah, as if they were gods Winglies ruled over all living creatures Winglies? used them as slaves the enslaved Claus. suffered a terrible domination and injustice. Yeah, the Their anger <laughs> the turned to a flame of fury. Then a gust of wind blew throughout the lands. This was a Mesopotamian drawing. To a blazing fire. The wind was Emperor Diaz. Seven incarnations of dragons served the Emperor. Their bravery inspired people to take up arms. Thus began the Dragon Campaign. It was a harsh war. Both people and Winglies suffered countless injuries and I didn't take that serious! After a long period of suffering, it was the human. A drawing of a dragon looked like one of the drawings you would see in like an ancient, like an old map of the sea. Yeah. One of the sea monsters. Well, it's like a mix of Japanese and medieval. This looks like yeah. the, uh, uh, the Bayou Tapestries of the Normans is what right. that reminds me of with a little bit of the oriental flair to it. Um, But yeah, I mean, the, the Kingdom Heart. going back to the Kingdom Hearts thing, I mean, that, that gameplay just was just amazing. And, and of course, with, with that gameplay for Final Fantasy XV and Kingdom Hearts 3 going to be coming out in similar time spans, and both of them are going to be blockbusters. They're going to be. Whether, yeah. they, whether they are shit games or not, there's going to be too many of us, including myself, I'm throwing in, we'll be buying the game. <laughs> and so um, you, you're probably going to see that resurgence. You're going to see a lot of RPGs in Japan and America that are going to try to take that style. Really, yeah. whatever. Final Fantasy has always been the lead. Um, I would say probably 12 and 13 That's were the exceptions. Yeah. Um, 12 tried to emulate MMOs a little too much with that, with that, with not yeah. re retaining enough of its own distinction. Um, and 13, they tried a new path that I, I fear... I fear they went down the Microsoft path of evil trying to appease all. Right. And, and really your hardcore gamers are going to be your Final Fantasy players. And you know, I I am pretty disappointed, just like I was disappointed with uh, 12, that they're getting away from the classic turn-based style. They are. People are of tired combat. of it. They don't and want it. And I'm, I'm really disappointed, disappointed to hear that because I love it. Yeah, I, you know, I still enjoy it. I still play the old games and love it. But I understand the times are changing. I can always go back and play the old games, you know, and yeah. I do often. As you can see um, from this Let's Play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, you know, I, I love the, the fighting in the Kingdom Hearts series, so now, granted, I've never played any of the handheld games, but I, I definitely, I will enjoy, you know, the, the new style for 15. I'm just, I'm curious if they're going to continue that. With that stuff? Because they've changed in every, every numbered every entry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I every don't... Number, numbered entry minus the MMOs. Yeah. I don't uh, think I, as I, a, after uh, ten. Yeah, I think they will change because Tetsuo Nomura, when he touches something, it's his. Yeah, he owns that game, so it's his style. It's gonna be that way, and unless they decide to bring Nomura back for another one, because I almost guaranteed, I, I read this today on, online, and I have to totally agree with the article. There will be a fifteen two, hoax. You're heading to a hoax. Wonderful. <laughs> Where you live, hoax. Um, there will be a fifteen two. Yeah, this has started. I, I, yeah, I it saw that. Uh, interesting. The world or whatever yeah, it said. Yeah, it was interesting when they did a ten two. It sucked, but it, it was did. interesting. It was the first time ever. But I'm so disappointed that they're that thir that well, thirteen had a had a, a ten two and not a ten three. Yeah, I mean a thirteen two and a thirteen three. Yeah, now. Uh, but right. they never called them thirteen two. Yeah, the it second was, was called thirteen two. Was it? And yes, then this not, one is lightning returns, returns, but it's thirteen three. Yeah. Um, and I'm really surprised they never tried that with 12. I guess because of the, the, the developing hell they went through. It, it came out so late in the PS2's life. Yeah, it did. I'm just, you know... 
I, I was, loved. I was so disappointed in thirteen. Yeah. So very disappointed. It had it such, such had such a beautiful opening and like okay, where are we going with this? This yeah. is so convoluted, and it was so terrible. The voice actors, some of them were good, but some of them were terrible. Then they had this convoluted crystal stuff, overly convoluted. And I'll say one thing, and this is my own personal, uh, you know, dislike. Anytime you have an Australian accent in your game, movie, or otherwise, I don't like it. Yeah, no, nah, he. Didn't. I hate Australian accents. This is where Ben and I are completely different. I usually find uh, women with Australian accents to be incredibly sexy sounding, and Ben uh, finds it. I makes. I want to punch him in the face. Yeah. See, so uh, that that's that's one of the turn off, and so that and that, I find that very strange because the woman who played <laughs> Sarah, what's her name? Who? The Australian girl. I don't remember her name. She's not her her her. The actress, the voice actress, is, is not Australian. That was put on. Hmm. So I thought that was very odd. But there were two Australians. Was there? Her and then the uh, butch bitch. Uh, the, you didn't ever met her, did you? Well, she, yeah, you met her early on. She was the, her the summon was, was, was Bahamut, was she not? Bahamut? I think so. Yeah. She had like a, like, almost like an Indian garb. But she had an Australian accent as well, because it was, for, they were both from that other place. That's they had that, why that I forgot accent. about that. Um, but anyway, I mean, those types of games, I mean, they introduced... Sarah was her sister. Uh, that's so right, the one that Sarah. was Lightning's, not Lightning's, but Snow's yeah, his, uh, wife, yeah, or whatever she was going to be. Or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, those kind of systems, I mean, they kind of, it was so different, they thought they could bring in more people, they thought it would be fun, and really what it became is like reading a book. Y your gameplay was so <laughs> vanilla, their, their deep, <laughs> supposedly deep uh, adva uh, tree advancements were terrible... Um, like, like I said, that game started off it's, amazing. It didn't go anywhere. For me, like, when your game plays itself, yeah, what's the point of me doing you, exactly? Even, you know, messing with it. I, I just, I can't understand it. it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Back to what I was saying uh, about Kingdom Hearts. I mean, Final Fantasy 15 earlier. One of the things I saw in the gameplay is is that, like Kingdom Hearts, you will have several people helping you in your party. Yeah. And you might have some control over them, but they generally will act independently. And what I thought I saw, what I saw was pretty interesting. One of the guys had a big old sword, and your character, he handed it off to your character. Yeah. I just keep on going back and forth. Oh, okay. I'm like, what's wrong, dude? <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember where his mom lives. I can't. She lives in a place with a barn. It's off to its by itself, yeah. I think. And I thought it was, because this is the only place I remember that has a side street, but it might be over in the first district. I'll just go up and over and see if that's where it was at. Yeah, to the right. Oh, there it is, to the yellow. No, that's there the, uh, yellows are shops and greens are waiting to go. Right. That's Blue, another thing that I wish, are ends. I wish that a few other, some of the Final Fantasy games had picked up on. Yeah. Especially some of this, this era, the PS1 era, because it was like, wh where the hell am I going?